If you do a lot of work with individuals or groups that use SharePoint or Office 365, you'll find the new level of integration with these products in either the Windows or Mac version of Acrobat 11 very beneficial. In this session, we'll focus on how easy it is to add files from these environments. This is because SharePoint and Office 365 repositories are now accessible from any open or save dialog in either Acrobat or Adobe Reader. So to show this capability, let's start by selecting the open command from the welcome screen. And in the open dialog, down at the very bottom, you'll notice a new command to open from online account. Let's go ahead and select new account. And you can select either Office 365 or SharePoint. In this case, I'll select Office 365 and input my workspace URL. Select continue. I'm prompted to log in with my user ID and password for the first time. And then when I click sign in, I see the documents in my workspace. And by default, only PDF files are displayed, but you can also choose to show all file types. Now I like to work in the document folder. And notice that you can also use the star command to designate this as a favorite location, which I'll go ahead and do. I'll give it a label here, Conservancy Documents. And I'm going to go ahead and open the financial.pdf document. At this point, I'm prompted to either check out and open or just open the file. Now, if I choose to just open the file without checking it out, Acrobat will keep prompting me to check out the file, especially if I make changes and attempt to save the file. This is because Acrobat is constantly keeping track of the file. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out and open the file because I don't want to create a local version on my system. I want the file to be managed through Office 365. I'm going to go ahead and make some changes to the file. I'll put a sticky note on here. I'm going to go ahead and save the file. Now notice on the file menu there's a new command here for SharePoint and Office 365. And this appears because Acrobat knows that this file came from an Office 365 workspace. And directly from this menu you can check the document back in, discard it, or prepare document properties. Now prepare document properties allows you to add metadata about your file, which I'll do here. I'll specifically add a title. I'll call this financial policy. I'll click OK. I'll go back and save my file. And now from this new file menu, I'm going to go ahead and check the document directly back in. I'm prompted to add some version comments, which I'll add to this particular version here. I'll say draft of new version. I'll click OK. And now my file has been saved to Office 365. I'm going to go ahead and close this file. Now I also mentioned that the SharePoint and Office 365 integration can be used in numerous workflows in Acrobat. This is basically any process that uses the open or save command. For example, if I select the combine files into PDF command from the welcome screen and then choose the add files command in the open dialog, I can select the open from online account command. I'll select my designated favorite here. And this brings up all the files that are located in Office 365. I can choose to combine both native Word and Excel files, which I have here. I'm actually going to go ahead and select them all and click on Open. You'll see them all appear as thumbnails in the Combine Files dialog. At this point, I can rearrange them or preview them. I'll go ahead and move this document and select Combine. And then Acrobat will go through the process of converting those files that are not in PDF to PDF and merging them into a single file. Here's my document in Acrobat. I'll just change the view. Click on the page thumbnails and I can see all my files here. 
I'll select Save, and I can rename the file at this point and check it back into Office 365, which I'll go ahead and do. I'll call this Combined, select Save, and now at this point I've got a completely new PDF file without ever even opening a single file on my local system. I won't bother with a value for this property here. And you can see the status in the lower right corner that is uploading the file to Office 365. Now this enhanced integration allows you to access the SharePoint and Office 365 capability whenever you use the open or save commands, which could be when you're using the page thumbnail navigation pane. Perhaps you want to insert, extract, or replace pages because directly from here you can access your online account. I also wanted to mention that when you have favorite locations designated in the Open from Online Account drop-down, you can choose to manage these locations, you can delete them, and you can edit the label for them. I'm going to go ahead and click No and close out of here. So you can see how the newly streamlined integration with SharePoint and Office 365 can provide file management as well as storage space as easy as working with files on your local hard drive in both Acrobat and Adobe Reader 11.